It's Rose Burnett from Mind Body Soul Balance and uh, as you can see I'm sitting right on the edge of the ocean. Hopefully it's not too, I might bring you a bit closer. The waves are splashing around me so hopefully you can hear me yeah? and uh, yeah so I'm out on my daily walk and I thought what can I share with you today and I was thinking about you know those times when uh, you're faced with a challenge that seems overwhelming uh, it can be to, to do with anything in terms of uh, your life in uh, you know it could be your finances it could be love it could be just your general state of uh, emotional well-being or physical well-being and how do you cope with those changes and uh, all those challenges yeah and I guess I can only share with you what I do and uh, this is one of them yeah so no matter what's going on in my life I make a kind of hopefully a daily practice sometimes I get a little bit tired so uh, I tend to get out and about at least six or seven days a week I might have one day off uh, but I try and get to close to as nature as I possibly can but it's also it's all about our emotional mindset yeah and what we're saying to ourselves but often sometimes when we're faced with a challenge I want to talk to you about the art of letting go uh, there are going to be times in your life where you have no answers, you know, you have no answers on how to resolve something and it can be deeply stressful. Uh, it can put you in place of quite a lot of anxiety. And how do you maintain your sense of peace and well-being and uh, your emotional well-being, particularly as well as your spiritual? Hopefully that's not too loud, huh? I bet you might enjoy the waves, yeah. Uh, and it can be deeply challenging and what I've learned is that sometimes in those instances one you know if what it, do whatever you can in terms of resolution in terms of solutions to help yourself out of those situations with what you've got your skills your experiences and the resources you might find yourself in a place where you've got no resources to do anything so I want to talk to you about the art of letting go yeah so the art of letting go is just to know that <laughs> in that moment waves are splashing you now in that moment where you have absolutely no idea what you're going to do right it's about giving your emotional physical spiritual well-being a break giving your mind a break and just going you know what i can't do anything about it so today i'm going to take the focus off it i'm going to stop stressing about it i'm just going to stop being anxious about it i'm going to get busy doing something else that makes me more joyful um one of the first things you can do which i totally recommend right is do what i'm doing right now get out in nature ground and balance yourself you need to get your feet on the earth yeah your feet on the earth and give your cares and your worries to the angels or even just try and be present don't even try and get into the the headspace of what those issues are that are that are facing you always ask for help and guidance and love and support and protection yeah call in archangel michael archangel michael if you don't know much about the archangels he is the protector yeah so call in archangel michael and just say look I need your love and protection at this time. Um, I'm also a Reiki, advanced Reiki practitioner, right? So whenever I'm walking, I also bring in my uh, ancient Japanese Reiki symbols to protect myself. And uh, yeah, obviously, if you don't know the Reiki symbols, I can't actually share them with you because you need to be trained in them to use them, yeah? But they're amazing, they're amazing. It's about keeping your spirituality high, your level of um, spiritual awareness high, your vibration high, yeah? And that's one of the things that I, if even if I've got, nothing going on well for me you know I have times in my life I'll share with you I have times in my life that are deeply challenging too just like everybody else we never have I don't know you can give me the comments below but has there ever been in your time a time in your life where it has been smooth from one moment to the next no and I think we have that contrast in our life so that we can appreciate the really good moments yeah but it's it's never smooth but it's about how do you maintain your balance and your equilibrium and your emotional well-being in those times and it's about constantly coming back to a place when you know that you're deeply challenged to um, a higher vibration, a sense of calmness. Um, I always come back and center myself and then perhaps I might go and tackle the issues once I've done my walk. I can't go for a long walk. I'm doing it like an eight or a 10K walk today, yeah? You don't have to go that long. I do it because it just lights me up and I need the exercise or I'm a bit of a fitness nut. If you don't know that, you should by now. You should know I'm a bit of a fitness nut. Um, but it will bring you back to a totally different headspace, yeah? And it's about allowing yourself to just let go of the issues. If you've got hostile people, organizations, just put the walls up, put the boundaries up and go, you know what, I need to be respected. I need to be treated better. I'm not gonna to respond to that right now. I'm just not, I'm not gonna engage in it. Um, they can't do anything with that apart from let it go themselves or let them continue, but don't get engaged in it, right? Give yourself a break. Um, and then come back and do something that, that uh, on those days when it's deeply challenging come back and do something that you find worthwhile 
yeah, that you're passionate about or even if it's, uh, you know, I guess one of the things to be mindful of is don't get to, into the distraction tactics like drug, alcohol, food, right? That's not going to be a solution because you're just going to feel worse afterwards, yeah. So maintain a daily practice if you can of getting in touch with nature, getting close to water because it's a great healer. Just letting go, letting go of the issue. Sometimes the easiest way to resolve something is to let it go. And, uh, you know, if you look back at all the times in your life when you've had deeply challenging moments, they've all passed, right? They've all passed. You're always, just remember that you're always divinely protected. Uh, the divine sees all, knows all, knows your struggles, yeah? Um, it's not going to let you stay in those struggles for too long, yeah? Um, yeah, so I guess I hope that helped. I hope that helped. Um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, scenery, the waves. Hopefully it wasn't too noisy. We'll see when I get back here to edit this how noisy it was. But um, just know that you're divinely blessed. You're never alone. You're always loved, deeply loved. And uh, call in Archangel Michael if you need protection. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.